So I'm going to show you a little trick in Canvas using something called Mastery Paths. So I've got a Canvas course up here, a little demo course that I built, and I'm actually in the course as the test student. So I'm going to go to Modules, and I've got this little, uh, little thing here called Choose Your Destiny. So let's take a look at that. Now what it is, it's a quiz, and it's got a one question on it. So I'm going to go take the quiz, and it's got two choices. Scary cave, scary forest. It says at the top, where does your destiny lie? So I have to pick one. Well, let's say it lies in the scary cave. I submit the quiz. And now I have a next button right here. I click on next. And it takes me to this page about a cave. OK, let me reset the student. So let's go back to modules. And when you go back to modules, you'll now notice it says choose your destiny and cave is showing. So let's reset it. It means everything I've done just forgets. All right, so I'll go back to modules. And you see choose your destiny and here it has some locked content. So let's go back into the quiz. And I'm going to take it again. This time I'm going to choose the forest. So number two, the scary forest. Now when I hit next, it actually takes me, takes me to a page about the forest. So how exactly does that work? If I go back to modules, you'll notice that now Choose Your Destiny has a file called forest underneath it. All right, I'm going to leave the student view and show you how this works. So here's what it is. I have this module. In the module, I've created a quiz. And then I have these two pieces of content, the cave, which is the page with the video about the cave on it, and also the forest, which is that the video about the forest on it. So the quiz itself, let's go into that, and it is simply one question with the two images. All right, if I edit the question, you're going to see that I've chosen the correct answer to be the scary cave. So that means the incorrect answer is the forest. And I even have some information here, so when they answer it, it gives them some feedback. Okay. However, if I come up to this other tab called Mastery Paths, that tells me a little bit more. So I created a Mastery Path, which basically said, if the person taking it scores one point, in this case, the answer that I deemed correct is one point, it will make them give them access to this uh, other piece of content called the cave. If they score zero points, it gives them access to the forest. So it really doesn't matter the points, they get to choose a direction and then Canvas will appropriately show them the content that is attached to that direction. So this is something when I'm going back to conferences here, I'm creating a, um, let's rather go back to modules. When I'm creating a module, I can actually create mastery paths for content in the module and have the student basically choose or self-direct through the content. Now, where this can be useful is, let's say I have uh, information I want a student to study for a, a quiz or assessment later on. I can have them take sort of a, a, a small assessment to kind of test their knowledge. So I have the main bit of information I have them read or, or go over. Then I have a little bit of a quiz to assess their knowledge. Based on the score of that, I can even, I can send them to more information or I can send them in a direction where they go back and review another page, which is review information until they get it. Then again, have them assessed. Based on that score, I can either continue to send them back for, for review or I can forward them on to sort of the next stage of learning. So. That's a little trick you can do within Canvas using something called Mastery Paths in Quizzes.